Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on December 1st, 2022, about 328 Eastern PM time as I speak, guys. Uh, thank you so much. This first day of December for me. <laughs> it's the first day of December 2022 for me anyway. I, I could then say, guys, I don't know when or if who joins me, when they join me. It doesn't matter, guys. I mean, I just give God praise for the ability, the opportunity, and the privilege to do this. And for those of you to do join, get on, man, just just give him, <clears throat> excuse me, just give him some praise every time you do get on and watch a video. Whether or not you get anything from it or not, you're still getting the word of God in you. And God will, that once that seed's planted in you, God will take care of the gardening. Trust me, just getting this word in us is so crucial, guys. There's a lot in the scripture about seed time and harvest. Anybody familiar with planting a garden, you don't, you don't put the seed in the ground and then go out two hours later and start picking vegetables. That's how the word of God acts. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Today's title is The Path of Wisdom. The Path of Wisdom. Amen. That's, that's just a beautiful title. That should be the name of a song, really. Um, our study scriptures, the author picked Psalm 38, 1 through 15. Folks, there's only 22 verses, so I don't think I need to say any more. Um, our lead off verse is Psalm 38, 5, verse 15. And I believe this is a Psalm of David crying out to the Lord. Um, word of God says, Lord, I wait for you. You will answer, Lord, my God. And Bill Crowder writes this today. Albert Einstein was heard to say, only two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. And I'm not sure about the former. Mm. Sadly, it does not seem that far too often there's no limit to the damage we create by our foolishness. Man, I'm glad I've never been there. How about you guys? Come on. Um, it was in such a season of regret that David poured out his struggle to God in Psalm 38. As he recounted his failings, as well as the painful consequences of those failings, the shepherd king made, made an insightful comment. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly, not because of anybody else's. God, man, guys, we are, we are responsible for our own actions, period. Here, read it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm going to keep going. Although the psalmist does not give us the details of his worsening wounds, one thing is clear. David recognized his own foolishness as their root cause. David, 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 my man. The answer for such foolishness is to embrace God's wisdom. Man, God's wisdom, folks. Okay, keep going, Tom. Proverbs, uh, yeah, Proverbs 9, verse 10 reminds us, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. That's a powerful verse, guys. Please meditate on that one. Only by allowing God to transform us can we overcome the foolish decisions that cause so much trouble. With his loving guidance, we can follow the pathway of godly wisdom. Man, folks, I'm, I'm praying there are so many people out there to get this message and understand. We, we put ourselves in our own position. And I know there's a lot of people that are going to argue that. Well, you don't understand, you know, if... If so-and-so wouldn't have done this and done that, guys, I'm sorry, that's a lie. And the word of God will back that up. We're responsible for our own actions. There's a saying, you know, like the majority of this life, it's 10% uh, of what actually happens and 90% of how you react to it. And guys, I can sit here and say, I've been divorced twice. You heard me say that. And I can blame, you know, the first marriage on me, the second one on my ex-wife. Guys, I was responsible for every action I made in both of those marriages. No matter how they turned out, my actions are my responsibility. Neither of those wives forced me, force an action on me. They did not, for, they, nobody can force you to react in a certain way. That is strictly on you. You may not like that, but that is truth, guys. That is truth. Um, we talk about all the time, you know, that day's going to come. You're going to be, every, every single one of us, believers and non-believers, no matter if you're going to heaven or hell, every one of us is going to be face-to-face -face with the Lord, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And we're going to have to give an account for everything we've done, good and bad. The Bible says this, folks, good and bad, give an account. 
And guess what? You're going to be alone, guys. It's not going to be it's not going to be my ex-wife where I can point the finger or she can point the finger. It's not going to be my parents. It's not going to be my pastor. It's not going to be my best friends. It's not going to be it. nobody. Todd is going to have to give an account for every single thing Todd did and answer to God himself. Nobody's going to be able to help me but myself. And that's the same with you guys. But this path of wisdom the author is talking about is only found in Christ, in God, in his word. And Proverbs, man, Proverbs is the book of wisdom. Look at the, the background there. Walk the path, wisdom from Proverbs. Folks, if you're ever just feeling empty, if you're ever feeling, for lack of better terms, if you're just feeling stupid, like you just don't know, you just feel, I don't, I'm just feel stupid, Lord, like I don't know you. Read some Proverbs. If you don't feel like reading it, uh, if you have Alexa, if you have a smartphone, which 99% of us do now, listen to Proverbs. Play it at night when you go to bed. Just listen to Proverbs. Let that seed get in you. Guys, trust me. I pray for wisdom every single day. I ask God to fill me with wisdom that I can walk in his love and his wisdom. Not mine, not man's wisdom. Man's wisdom makes no sense. But um, in uh, I love yeah, Proverbs 9, 10. You know, the, the fear of the Lord. And we've talked about the fear of the Lord. You know, it's not being petrified and terrified of him. It's just knowing who he is, what he is, what he can do, who all oh, it's just knowing, it's just knowing God so much that you know he is capable of absolutely anything. He is infinite. Just like you know, Albert Einstein said, you know, the universe and humans, God is infinite. He is infinite. We try to put limits on him. We, you know, we really do. We put limits on him so much every day, God. And I'm 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 probably just as guilty if I go back, there's probably some way I limited God today. God is limitless. Um, you know, even when we pray, we we think he is so far away. Like, you know, we close our eyes, we squint, we, we get down on our knees, we fold our hands. Well, wh where is he? God's only as far away as we make him. And once you know God and understand this, and you get this from godly wisdom, and godly wisdom comes from getting in the word every single day. And uh, the end, what the author says here is so powerful, so true, only by allowing God to transform us. Guys, you know, you've heard me talk about Celebrate Recovery. Celebrate Recovery is an awesome program. It is. it is. It's a program. It's a 12-step recovery program. But guess what? We use the word of God so people can take that and apply it to their life. That's godly wisdom. And we come to Celebrate Recovery because of our own mistakes, our own faults. We don't come to Celebrate Recovery because of what somebody else did to us. It's because of what we did with this life, because we messed it up. We hit our knees like King David did. And say, God, you know, I feel like this whole world is out to get, get uh, is against me. I feel like I'm losing everything. God, I know it's my own fault. I know I brought this on myself, but I know you're still God. And that's what Psalm 38 in a nutshell is pretty much saying. So I would encourage you guys to go back and read that. When you read scriptures, put yourself in every single scenario. That's why God gave us the Bible, not just to tell us, not strictly just to tell us what happened in the past. But to put yourself in every man, guys, you, every, almost every single story in the Bible, God wants you to place yourself in because, you know, his word endures forever. It's the same yesterday, today and always, you know, just like God, the same. And he does not change. But guys, just uh, please go back and read Psalm 38. Put yourself in that story as King as King David. Get, get along with God. Just pray on it. Meditate on it. And just to, just allow him to speak to you guys. Get God's wisdom, not mine. Not the daily bread, not these videos. Get God, get godly wisdom, and uh, you'll, you'll feel the difference. So, guys, thank you for joining me. And until tomorrow, no, or I'm sorry, December 2nd, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.